What's up guys, Reese here from Reese3D.com. In this video, we are going to create this beautiful animated button in Adobe Animate. So if you have the older version of Adobe Animate or if you have Flash Professional, they all work the same way. So you might have to just hunt for a few options in different places, but everything works almost the same. So to start with, we're going to go to create a cube here. Okay, so we're going to use the rectangle tool. And with the rectangle tool, I want to have a small corner radius. So if you go to the tools uh, properties and scroll down all the way to the bottom here, you will find rectangle options. So there we have, uh, we want to have the corner radius for all the four corners as the same number. Uh, if you have a different size uh, for different corners, you can actually go to individual ones and then change them. So for our case, I'm going to just give 50 here, so 5, 0. Now, if I click and drag, so you can see that I have a nice um, rounded rectangle here. Good. So I'm going to convert this into a button, and then we'll create the rest of the things on top of it. So I'm going to select my uh, selection tool, double click to select everything. Now keep in mind, if you just click and convert it to a symbol, it's going to convert only the fill into a symbol. Okay, so we want to select both the fill and the stroke to be converted into a symbol. So double click to make sure that everything is selected. If you are not sure, you can actually click and drag and make sure that you're selecting the entire shape. So once you've done that, let's right click and convert to symbol. Or you can use the shortcut key F8. Okay, so here I'm going to give a name here. I'll call this as um, play button. BTN or button full name as you like okay so make sure that this is a button type and the registration point doesn't matter it can be in the center or in the corner doesn't matter if you're not sure you can just follow exactly what I am doing here okay I'll go ahead and click OK here so that's converted as a symbol now I'm gonna make the rest of the things inside the symbol so I'm gonna double click so you can see here it shows play button so that means you're inside the symbol now keep in mind if you double click from the outside it's not going to happen and if you go inside and then accidentally if you double click outside it's also going to go out of the button okay so you need to be exactly careful uh, what uh, you're doing here okay so we want to make changes inside the button so we can double click to go inside the button you can also go to the library and there also we have the button so you can also double click from here to go inside the button but keep in mind when you do that you will not have the rest of the scene in reference to your symbol because you can see that you don't have the scene one showing here so you're not inside the scene one inside the button but you're actually inside the button straight from the library so let's go back one step and go inside here so you will see now you have scene one and then you have the play button okay so I'm gonna add just the symbol first and then we can just add extra stuff on top of it so I'll go to overstate right click uh, insert keyframe so we have uh, the button here and uh, I'm gonna call this actually as a background so this is a BG okay now from the BG what I want to do is when I mouse over this uh, button I want this to animate into different color okay so I want red to go to uh, green and then come back to red so for doing that I need to have this uh, as a movie clip symbol which you can actually animate okay now I'll go to convert this into a movie clip this time it doesn't matter even if I'm selecting the border or not but just to keep things simple I'm gonna select everything right click convert to symbol and this time it's going to be a movie clip so I'm gonna name this as MC sorry this is going to be BG underscore MC that is for movie clip okay and we can also say this is actually going to be uh, animated doesn't matter whatever reference that you want to give so that you will know which symbol it is when you have finished okay so later if you want to make some changes it should be easy for you to find it out from the library here I'll go ahead and click OK so you can see that we have BG MC animated 
So now I'm going to double click once again here. So now we are inside the um, animated uh, background symbol, so which is a movie clip. So this is the icon for the movie clip. This is the icon for the button. So whenever something's not working for you or it's not showing the same as what it's showing for me, just check these things, okay? So make sure that you're inside the scene, you're inside the play button, you're inside the uh, BGMC, that is the movie clip animated ones, okay? So when we have nested symbols like this, that is symbol inside another symbol, uh, sometimes you might have problem like did you put the movie clip inside the button or button inside the movie clip? So you need to know this hierarchy, okay? So make sure that you're using the same exact uh, hierarchy that I'm doing so that you will not have any issues. Okay, so what I want here is I want uh, this background to change its color starting from here to maybe just 10 frames, okay? So and then uh, come back to the same original color at frame number 20. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll create the 20th keyframe first so that it's just having the same content from here. So I'll right click and insert keyframe so it gets the same exact content here. So same red color, same red color. But in the middle, I want it to change to another color, which is green. So I'll go to right click, insert keyframe. And here I'm going to select this guy, go to, um, I can just change it from here or I can go to properties and I can just select that and change it to green. All right, so now you can see it's red, it's green, it's red again. Now I can use shape tween. So select all these guys or maybe we can do it twice, no problem. So right click here and um, shape tween, right click here and shape tween. That's it. So now you can see that goes to green and then comes back to red. And this will actually keep on happening over and over again. So it looks like it's animating from one color to the other color and coming back and doing it as a loop. Great. Let's just test what we have done so far. Okay, so we have a play button, which is having an up state, which is normal state as red color. And we have an over state, which basically has the colors changing. I'll press control and enter here. Great. So you can see that when I keep the mouse on top of the button, it's actually changing the color. It's quite fast. Maybe I can slow it down. I'll just go out and nothing happens. Okay, so this is our normal state and this is our over state. Great. Okay, so now um, let's say I'll, I want to make the animation a bit slower because I felt like it's too fast. Okay, so let's go to over state, double click to go inside the movie clip symbol. I'm going to move this from 20 to 40. I'm just making it uh, half of the speed. So I'll make the 10 to 20. So that's going to be a bit slower. So let's press Control Enter just to check it out. And this is the normal state. Nothing happens. And if I move the mouse over it, you can see that it animates slowly. That's fine. OK, fine. Now, if you want the animation to stop uh, just with one, uh, one time animating it, you can actually add a stop command here in the actions. Okay, so we're not going to do that for now. We want this animation to keep on happening over and over again. Great. So let's come out of uh, that and uh, I can also add uh, buttons on top of it. So I'll say some kind of you want to have text or you can have something else. I'm going to have a play button here. So I'll go to new layer and I'm going to name this as um, text or play or whatever it is. Okay. And I can actually add just a square. Oops, not this. Let's make it zero. And I want to have a white color here. Okay, so click and drag. Something like that. And I can use my selection tool or I can press and hold control key just to get that there. All right, so it looks like a YouTube play button, right? Okay, fine. So now we have the same content showing up here as well. So if you don't like the border, you can also delete that. That's up to you. So whatever kind of look that you want to create. Okay, so this is our overstate, upstate. This is our overstate that has the animation. Now let's go to the downstate. And this is where we're going to create a mask uh, to create a little, little uh, laser kind of uh, movement animation okay so i'll go to right click here in the down state insert keyframe so we have um, the same exact content i'll press um, 
F6 this time actually because we want to have a change to the play button. Um, I'll choose insert keyframe so we get the same content here. I'm going to select both of them, okay, and make them smaller. All right, so let's go ahead and press um, uh, shift key just to maintain the same proportion, okay, and this is actually going towards the center, that's fine. So just a little bit, not too much. I just want to check. Yes, that's fine. So that looks like clicking action. I'll press Control Enter here. Let's just test it out. So when I move the mouse over, it changes animation. That's looking nice. And click. Yes. That's exactly what we wanted. But we want to do more things to this. Okay. So when I uh, go to this down state, I want uh, a bit more nicer animation here. So um, I'm not going to change the play button here, so I'm going to lock that layer. Nothing is going to be happening there, but we want to just animate this one. So um, if I double click on this, now it's actually the movie clip symbol, which we already created. And if I make any change to this, that is actually going to ruin the animation that we already created. So I don't want this movie clip here. Instead, I want to create something else for um, this last frame. Okay, so let's go to the library. Let's see what we have. We have just two, these two things. And if I go to my first frame, I have uh, something here. This is not a movie clip symbol. Okay, so I can actually use the same content in the last frame here. Okay, so I'll go ahead and right click, copy, I'll go to the down state. And I can just um, come back. I'll actually delete this and paste the content that I copied from here. So for pasting, I'm going to use paste in place. So it pastes in the exact same location. I need to make it a bit smaller because this is the uh, down state where we need to um, have the animation of making it smaller. Okay, shrinking. So this is now a brand new drawing without any symbol. Okay, so if I double click, you can see that it is not going inside uh, any any symbol. So now this one, I want to convert it into a new movie clip. Okay, so this is going to be double clicked and right clicked and convert as a symbol. Now, if the clicking is too much confusing, uh, please pause the video, rewind and watch again. Okay, so double clicking that content, right clicking and converting it to a symbol. So this time again, it's going to be movie clip, but this is going to be PG. Uh, underscore MC and this is the um, animated movie clip but it's going to have a mask so I'm going to name this as mask animation okay so we know that this is a different one and this is a different one hit OK fine let's go inside this movie clip okay so this is our mask animation and I need to actually have two more layers on top of this Okay, so this is going to be our BG. Okay, and insert a keyframe on top of it. Actually, this keyframe is also going to have the same content but in a different color. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and I'll go to this frame and I'm going to paste in place so it comes on top of the same content. But this is going to have a different color. I'll go here and make this um, something like a light blue looking good. If I hide this, you can see that we still have the red color in the background. Now, this blue is going to be our mask content. Okay, so I'm going to have, I'm going to show just part of this just to have an effect of a laser light moving through. Okay, so let's say laser. Uh, BG or laser mask and now I need to create the masking layer okay so let's go to next layer one more new layer and this is going to have just an object now it doesn't matter what color this object is okay and it doesn't matter if it has a border or not so I'm going to delete that border okay I double click to delete the border okay and I want to convert this into a symbol as well so I'll make this a bit taller okay Good. Right click, convert it into a symbol. So we're going to call this as beam of light or whatever you like. Okay, so I'll call this as beam of light. And this beam of light um, can have any color it wants. 
I'll just right uh, rotate this a bit, place it over here. Okay, so I'm gonna ha have this animated in like half um, half a second or something like that. So 15 frames or 10 frames. I think 10 frames is good because we want this animation to be fast. So this is a graphic symbol. I'm gonna go to frame number 10, right click and insert keyframe. And go these other two things. Let's give an insert frame just to have those content visible here. So I'm going to animate this to go down here so you can see that in the beginning it is up here in the end it's down here. I'll right click in the middle and I will choose um, insert um, sorry I will choose uh, create classic twin. So you can see that it actually animates from the top to the bottom. That looks good. Okay now what we want is we want this blue uh, layer or this content only to be visible in the area where we have this light bar right so <clears throat> for doing that I'm going to name this also as light beam okay so for doing that I have to right click on this light beam layer and choose mask there it is now you can see when I go back we have something like that okay so this is our background for the hit state okay so it's gonna animate if you think it's too fast uh, maybe we can just increase that time frame uh, to 15 so that's up to you so you can just drag it along um, and you can create uh, f5 or you can right click and choose insert frame here okay so that's going to add um, some extra time to make it make the animation slower great but I think uh, it's good to have just 10 frames because we won't have that much area. I'll remove frames here. Yep, that's fine. Let's go back one more time and now let's control press control enter and that's our play button and if I move the mouse over you can see that it's animating that's perfectly fine and if I click that's our animation. So if I just click once you'll just see it like that or if you press and hold you can have that animation playing all over. Okay, so this is our normal state, and this is our up state. And if you want to change to a different animation, whatever animation you want, you can create it inside that movie clip, and that's going to continue happening. Okay, so click on it, and we have another animation. Mm -hmm.